Hello, in this video I will give a short demonstration of a WooCommerce plugin I've made. The plugin is a simple mobile payment gateway and it is very similar to the built-in bank transfer payment gateway which is provided by WooCommerce. Uh, so the thing is, in Denmark we have gotten two mobile payment systems within the last couple of years and they have gotten really popular. They basically work in the same way. You open an app on your mobile phone, then you write the amount of money you want to you send, then you write the phone number of the receiver, and uh, then you send the money. Within minutes the receiver will get a notification and the money will be on his bank account. So it is basically much faster and much easier than a regular bank transfer and this is the reason why I wanted to incorporate it in WooCommerce. So um, yeah, the first thing you have to do is of course to put the, the plugin in the Woo WordPress plugins folder or upload it to your WordPress page. When this is done you can go to the plugins folder or the plugins menu and then you will uh, see this plugin, Neobit Simple Mobile Payment Gateway. So when you so let's activate it, and then we can go to the WooCommerce settings page, and here we want to go to the checkout tab. This is where you manage your your payment gateways, and now we have this gateway available, which is called mobile payment. So let's click on it. So the first thing we want to do is enable the the gateway. And then uh, we can change the title and the description. And this is one uh, what's gonna be shown on the checkout page where the user or the customer has to choose a, a payment method. So in Denmark, the two services, mobile payment services we have is called Mobile Pay and Swip. So we can write that in the title. And then in the description, we can also write Mobile pen swip. So, and um, we're gonna copy that to the instructions. The instruction is what's gonna be shown on the thank you page and in the confirmation mail to the cost uh, customer. So uh, let's write mobile swip account. So. When this is done, we can uh, add the accounts. So the first one we're gonna add is the mobile pay account. And then we need to provide a name. Uh, the thing is, before the transfer it is executed on the phone, the sender is gonna see the name of the receiver. So this name we write here has to be the same as, uh, as, which, as the one on the phone, which is, um, which is written in the settings on the, on the app on the phone. So uh, let's say, my name on the uh, my name in the payment service is uh, Rune Test Sun. Then we also need to write that here, and then we can write a phone number. So that's fine. And then we're gonna add the Swip account. We're gonna write Testaholic, and then we're gonna write another number. Um, in many cases, the number and the name will be the same. Uh, uh, because it's the same person managing the two accounts, but in some cases uh, different per people might manage the different account. But um, we're gonna add that account. Then we're gonna save the changes. Uh, so now we have uh, the gateway set up and we have enabled it. So let's go to the page. So now we can add a product. So let, uh, let's add this image. Go to the card and proceed to the checkout page. So now we need to fill in our billing information because um, I have already si I'm already signed in. They are automatically filled out. So, um, but but here in the bottom, the customer has to to choose the the payment method. So we have direct bank transfer, and then we have this payment method which we have just enabled and called mobile pay and swip. So we're gonna gonna choose that, and then we're gonna place the order. So. Now we're at the thank you page, which means that the order has been received. And uh, on, the, on the thank you page, we have the mobile payment details. So we have the mobile pay account and the SWIP account. So what the customer has to do now is to uh, transfer the money to either one of these, um, these accounts. And then when the store owner sees the, the, the money uh, or gets the money, he has to manually go into WooCommerce 
and change the order status to complete and then uh, ship the product. So it's an uh, it's an offline gateway. So nothing is so it's not connected to to any of these services. It's something you have to do manually. Um, but um, but I think it's a, it's a good alternative for for small business owners uh, who don't want to pay a credit card subscription. Um, I, yeah, then I think this can be a can be a good solution. So uh, well, that was uh, the demonstration of the the plugin. I'm gonna provide a link in the description to my GitHub where you can uh, download the plugin. And if you have any questions or anything, you can just write a comment. So uh, thank you for watching.